Hi. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my background went away. Welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is something that I find pretty interesting. It's something that has popped up as of recent, and it's only been a thing for about a month now. The thing that I'm talking about is Spotify's new DJ mode, which, in my opinion, is probably the coolest thing that they've ever released other than Spotify Wrapped. Spotify has been at the top of the game for personalization for their app users. In 2015, they came out with the Discover Weekly, where you can find new music according to your taste. And ever since then, they've developed things like mixes and all sorts of things that are personalized to you as the listener, so you get a better experience on Spotify. And this new DJ AI program is probably the coolest thing that they have personalization wise other than those mixes and Spotify wrapped at the end of the year. Spotify altogether is like the leading music app altogether. They're at the top of the game. Uh, they have the best yearly recap with Spotify wrapped. Uh, they have the most users. Everybody flocks to Spotify. Spotify gets the most treatment when it comes to artists. It's got a great list of podcasts. Everything about Spotify is good except the Joe Rogan situation. I'm still kind of mad about that where they're paying him like 200 million dollars on a contract to uh talk to people but artists are over here busting their tail and not getting paid anything at all that's not my field that's not my place to sit and complain because i'm not an artist but i'm sure they're complaining out there i mean they have every right to be but that's besides the point this video i'm talking about the dj ai that was released back at the end of february for spotify and i've been kind of letting it simmer for about a month i discovered it a little bit ago and i didn't know what was happening i literally clicked on it and then clicked off of it but this morning a friend sent me a picture of it of him saying that it was cool so i decided to go and try it again and it's really freaking cool and i stand by the fact that i think it's one of the coolest things that spotify has released ever and once you're there, you're just going to click on it. And what it'll do is it'll introduce himself, uh, the AI, uh, his name is X. It'll tell you what is about to happen. Basically, what the DJ AI does is it curates a playlist, kind of like a radio. And what it'll do is it'll pick an artist that you've been listening to recently or a song you've been listening to recently and play it. And according to the vibe of that song, it will play a couple of tracks according to that song. And every few songs, the DJ will pop in and change the vibe up a little bit. So if you're just driving in the car and you don't want to pick your music, you put on the DJ and he'll play the music for you. He'll pick out the music that you like to listen to. And if you don't like the music that it's playing, there's a button in the bottom right corner and you just click it and it changes the vibe. It skips the song and you get a different type of experience experience and it's all curated towards you now what's really cool about this is it is a hundred percent ai it pulls from your playlist your mixes and everything in between to get the songs that you like to listen to and i think the coolest part is the voice the voice is again a hundred percent ai the voice is actually done by a man named xavier uh, jernigan i think that's his name or x which is what they call the dj they bring his voice to life to be the DJ. So he's the one that kind of takes you through this experience all together. And everything that he says is 100% generated by artificial intelligence, which is freaky to think about, but it's also really cool to think about. On their website, they talk about how the AI actually works and it uses a genera genera generative ai my goodness i can't talk they use a thing called generative ai and they have a team of music editors that give you insightful facts about the music and artists that you're listening to as you listen to them so it's not just changing the vibe up to hip-hop no it's saying facts about the artists that you're listening to different things about the genre it's really cool how they've done it and they've got a team of people that have built these facts that are then spoken by x for the actual DJ's voice, I just looked this up. It's using a system called Sonantic, which is an AI voice platform that is used to simulate somebody else's voice into whatever. You can get it to say whatever you want it to. So they use this kind of voice modulation AI to then guide the DJ to guide you through your listening experience. Now, call back to what songs it actually picks. It doesn't just pick music that you're listening to now. It'll pick songs from three, four years ago, or maybe even a couple months ago that you've not listened to in a little bit. And it'll implement those songs into your listening experience so you can kind of get a nostalgic feel when you're listening. Because uh, if there's a song you've not listened to 
in three to four years and it pops up on the radio, you're gonna feel a certain way, which I think is another reason why this AI is so special and it's so cool uh, to the environment of just listening to music. It changes the game completely. Because I know I hate the radio, I can't stand it because it plays the same songs over and over and over. Think about this, you can skip the songs when you want to and it's a personalized experience. If you don't like the experience, just play your own playlist. It's just, if it's a hit, you keep playing. If it's a miss, you skip it, and the DJ will correct himself, and he'll give you a new vibe. With that being said, go try this on your own. Go see if you like it. I know that I did. I don't like giving Spotify free advertisement, but who's gonna watch this? Probably like, probably like 40 people. It's whatever. There's your free advertisement, Spotify. Well-deserved, because it is a very cool system, and I think that it's something that more platforms should implement. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye.